Hey everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope you guys are having a great motherfucking planty day. Today we're going to be doing some February plant highlights. So if you'd like to see what's new with my plants, please make sure to stick around. And if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely think about checking out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button, especially if you love plants. Don't forget to leave me a like or a comment on this video. It really helps my channel out and I'd also really appreciate it. Plus, I just love chatting with you guys down in the comments. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into these plant updates. So I'm gonna go ahead and update you guys on my Anthurium for Getty Eye to start off. So first of all, she has this brand new beautiful leaf right here. It is literally huge, like bigger than my head. Um, she does have some imperfections, but you know, that's all right. She's still looking beautiful. But yeah, a lot of her leaves are starting to get some imperfections, which makes me a little sad. But, you know, I still think she's really pretty, but I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or what she needs from me. I don't think it's because she's thirsty because she gets plenty of water in this um, self-watering setup that I have her in with the water reservoir on the bottom or whatever. I don't know if I'm like overwatering her or if like she needs more humidity um it's funny it's like when she was smaller she had like no problems like i would get perfect leaves all the time and now that she's bigger she like you know be having imperfections showing up so i don't know if that just comes with age or something with these plants but you know she's still doing pretty well she's really healthy and like i said she just put out this huge freaking leaf so i'm excited to see what the next one will look like and as you can see she does have some flowers popping off over here um this one right here i'm super excited to update you guys on i'm pretty sure i was successful at pollinating her i pollinated her with pollen from herself that i took a while back i'll make sure to insert some clips with like some dates so y'all can like really see the process but yeah so i took some pollen and i stored it away and waited for another flower and once another flower came and was ready to be pollinated i went ahead and did that and yeah i wasn't sure if it was gonna work or not but i think it was successful because she be having these little green bumps growing. And I know the last time she had a flower, when the flower was done, it just like turned black and, oh, I just freaking hit it. I'm sorry, girl. What was I saying? Oh, the flower turned uh, black and like, you know, it was starting to die, but this one turned green. So I think she is going to make some berries for me and then I can get some seeds and grow some babies. So yeah, wish me luck with all of that. I'm super excited. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. I just really love this plant and I'm so happy I have it in my collection. Anyways, let's go ahead and move on. All right, so the next plant I'm gonna talk about is my Monstera adinsonia. So she actually lives outside of the plant room. And I did a video with her a while back where I took care of my neglected plants. And basically I chopped her up and propagated all of the cuttings. And then once the cuttings were all rooted up and ready to go, I potted them all back into the original pot. And I'm happy to say they are all starting to put off some new growth and new leaves. So yeah, I'm super excited for the future of this plant and for how full it's gonna be because there's literally like five or six different growth points up in there. I definitely need to get her like a grow light or something because she doesn't get a lot down here. Um, I think the windows down here where I live are north windows, so they get like the lowest light out of all of them. But I'm happy she's at least putting out some new leaves for me and showing me that she's at least a little happy. But I definitely need to step up the care with her because I just really want a big full Monstera Deliciosa because 
I've been having plants for almost close to three years now, and I still don't have just like a big statement Monstera Deliciosa that I feel like everyone usually gets when they like first get into plants, you know? Because I've literally had my Monstera since I've gotten into plants, but she's just been going through her ups and downs. Um, I'm considering moving her into the plant room, but I don't really have space right now. Um, so once I like reorganize things in here and have a little bit more space, maybe I can move her in here or something, or I'll just put a grow light where she's at right now, actually. That'll probably be a better option. But yeah, anyways, on to the next thing. All right, next up, we're gonna be taking a look at my philodendron, Mayoi. And I'm happy to say that she finally has put out some new growth for me. I'm pretty sure the last time I updated you guys on this plant, I was saying how she hadn't put out a new leaf for me in a while, but here is the new leaf. It does have a little bit of damage on it because she was having a little trouble coming out of the caterpill. But nonetheless, I'm super happy that she gave me some new growth and I'm hoping she's gonna keep giving me new growth and hopefully root into this lovely little moss pool I have right here for her. I really wanna get those really mature leaves because they are just so beautiful. And I'm really hoping she's just gonna continue to thrive. But that's pretty much it. I just wanted to give you guys this little update on her in case anyone was wondering what her status was these days. But let's go ahead and talk about more new leaves around the plant room. All right, y'all, let's talk about my Monstera Adansonii. She is just so magnificent, so beautiful. She's literally taller than me now, and I'm like five foot nine. Um, so yeah, she's probably like six foot at this point, and she is just giving me some huge leaves. I'm so happy I put this plant on a moss pole, but I know the day is coming where she's gonna run out of space, because I think for now, I'm gonna stop extending the moss pole. Um, I really wish I had like super tall ceilings so I could just like really keep this plant growing up taller and taller. But I do really wanna fill up the moss pole some more because she is pretty bare down towards the bottom. So I think I'm gonna start taking some cuttings from her once she starts growing off this moss pole. And I also really need to update the moss pole on this plant because she is just so unstable. I literally have her nailed to the wall right now. So I really wanna get like a wooden stake or something to just really hold up the moss pole. And this plant is always giving me new growth. So this is a new leaf right here. This is a newer leaf right here as well. And she's already putting out a new leaf again. And then we got some leaves growing back here. But yeah, she is a beauty. Next up, we're gonna talk about my Alocasia Lauterbachiana that my good friend Plantslox Books, aka Khadija, gave to me. Um, so basically, she bought this plant for me off of Etsy and had it mailed to my house. And I'm happy to say it is doing really well. It just put out this new leaf right here. And this leaf is definitely bigger than the rest of them so far. So I'm really excited to watch this plant continue to mature because I'm pretty sure they can get pretty big. I do have her in a self-watering setup and she literally loves it so much. Um, if you have an alocasia, I really recommend doing that because these plants really love the consistent moisture. And yeah, I think she really appreciates it. Hopefully she continues to thrive and continue to give me bigger and bigger leaves. Next up, I wanna talk about my Philodendron Ernestii. She just put out a brand new beautiful leaf as well. And literally look at the size of this thing. Wow. I love this plant so much. I really feel like she's kind of underrated because I don't really see a lot of people talk about her, but just look at these leaves. They just look so pillowy and I just love the shape of them. Plus they also have these beautiful ruffles on their petioles and I just love it so much. She lives on this little moss pool, but to be honest, she's not even attached to it really. Um, so this plant I think is pretty easy to mature up as long as it has good support. And yeah, for me, the care has been really easy with her. So I really suggest trying this plant out if you haven't heard of her or if you're interested. This was her last leaf back here and it was also a really good size as well. Um, like, just look at that, y'all. 
She also has some more new leaves back here on the other vines that are in the same pot. They're not quite as mature, but I'm hoping they'll get to this size eventually because just imagine this pole filled up with these huge freaking leaves. Like, oh my God, it is just so freaking beautiful. Here's another view of those ruffles on the petioles. Like, just look how pretty they are. So cute. On to the next plant. Here we have my Alocasia Amazonica Polly. And I got this plant towards the beginning of my plant collection as well. She was actually in the first video I posted on this channel ever. Um, and it's still up if you want to check it out. But just fair warning, it's pretty cringy because uh, I was really awkward. And I mean, I'm still awkward, but you know. When I first started my channel, I was even more awkward in front of the camera. But anyways, we're here to talk about the plant. And I'm excited to show y'all that she has a new leaf that she's putting out right now. So this is actually going to be the 11th leaf that she has in this pot. Um, so she is really doing well. There's actually two separate corms growing in here. And yeah, she is just living her best life. And really has come such a long way because about a year ago, I want to say, she was like a one leafer. And then, you know, I did some updates on her i gave her some brand new soil you know did some rehab and ever since then she has just always been popping off and it's just looking gorgeous and i just love the design on these leaves i really hope i can size her up even more if that's possible i only have around three alocasia so i really want to add more alocasias to my collection as well so if you have any favorites or recommendations leave them down in the comments so next up, I wanted to show you guys my Gopersha Warsawixii, who I have in this like pitcher right here that I'm using as a self-watering pot. And she is really loving it. She has roots growing up in there. And she's putting out tons of new leaves as well. She has one on the way right here. And then she even put out some pups down here towards the bottom that are putting out some new leaves of their own. So it is really cute to see. And she put a new shoe out over on this side that is putting out a new leaf as well. So I think she has a total of four leaves coming in right now. So yeah, I'm really happy to see that. And I'm really happy that this plant is popping off because she has also come a pretty far way and has gone through her trials and tribulations, as you can see by some of her battle scars on some of these leaves. But yeah, this plant is doing really good and really beautiful. So if you have this plant and you kind of struggle with it, I really suggest putting it in the self-watering setup because they just love it so much. But anyways, let's move on. So I'm gonna show you guys two more plants before I end this video. So first up, we have my Thomatophyllum sprucianum who has these beautiful leaves that have these leaflets. So it just looks like a fan or whatever. And as this plant matures, she just keeps getting more and more of these leaflets. So she is putting out a new leaf right now. So I'm super excited to see that and to see how big it will be. I did put this plant in a self-watering setup not that long ago, and she is rooting up in there and starting to love it as well. So yeah, I'm really excited for the future of this plant. And then last but not least, I wanna talk about my Epipremnum Pearls and Jade because I cut this plant back in a video not that long ago, and she is starting to put out some new growth points and I'm pretty sure this plant is rooted into the moss pole. And I think I saw a TikTok a while ago of a mature plant of this growing up a pole. And it was just so beautiful. So yeah, I really want to grow this plant out and have it really be like a big, bold statement plant. <laughs> I literally could sit around and talk about my plants with you guys all day, but I don't want to keep you guys too long. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video right here. So I hope you enjoyed watching. If you made it this far, please make sure to leave this video a like and leave me a comment letting me know what your favorite part was. I hope you guys had a good February and I'm excited for March and just for like the growing season to be in like full swing even though 
it's pretty much the growing season all the time in my plant room, but it's kind of ironic because even though it's like lush and beautiful and rainforesty up in here, it's actually snowing where I live today um, a lot, to be honest. <laughs> so I feel like it's like a winter wonderland out there and then it's like, the jungle in here. Yeah, I just thought that was a fun little fact for y'all. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday and a great rest of your week. And if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely check out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. And yeah, I hope to see you guys next Wednesday. Anyways, I need to go ahead and get this video edited and uploaded because it's actually Wednesday right now when I'm recording this. So sorry if this video comes out a little late, um, but yeah, anyways. Bye y'all.